Then you went around and I you wanna, told who, did I I promise? who did I promise? Who did I promise? I want to start building shit. I, I want to get know. going. I, what did I, what, what who did I promise what? To. What do you mean? You talked to the mayor about how all of this? About what? Uh, a little bit. Yeah? I I, it, I don't think it's going to work with me being in this sheriff's office. I, I don't I don't know. Not like I I think it's a no, but like I don't think it's a yes. If that so makes you think sense. It's a no. Not necessarily. Well, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you don't think you uh, can work with uh, Bones, then so be it. I'm, I'm considering staying in the LSPD. Do it. Do what. Do what your heart tells you to do. Right, but he's he's asked for a captain position in LSPD if he stays. Mm -hmm. and we just got rid of captain positions. What's your uh, what's your main qualm with uh, taking under sheriff? I had a conversation with him last night, and I just don't think he sees leadership in the same way that I do. And he essentially wants me to come in and be a yes man, be glorified human resources. It just ain't gonna work. Ruby, do you feel like that's your position? <laughs> Not at all. And I don't think the under sheriff position should be that. I'm just saying this is based on one conversation that I had with him. What needs to happen now is you need to work it out with him, or don't work with him at all. That's what needs to happen. Yeah, that's what because I'm, and that's what I'm trying. You guys have a collective experience that will allow you to work together and to build something good because you've got a lot of ideas and it sounds like you still have a lot of initiative to me you are the the perfect person to be under share i'll talk to him so don't worry about it. just don't worry about don't worry about talking to him today about that shit yeah uh, if anybody's still ass. pursuing chat now they mean holding hey corn what are you doing? hey uh honey 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 it was a joke it was a joke <laughs> oh okay well thank you Why, i appreciate honey, it honey honey relax I haven't been sleeping with Corwood. I kissed him one time, but it was CPR. I mean, it was CPR. It was, yes, it was CPR. It was CPR. Uh, how are you doing, brother? You all right? I'm good. I wanted to ask you, are you dead set on going to the BCSO? I, I'm pretty dead set. What if, I, what if I was to stay in the LSPD? I wouldn't understand why you do that. Look, brother, you, you spent five months tossing and turning and pushing and pushing and pushing. Now, I understand not getting it's fucking heartbreaking. You, you've got the department in there, so why not take that five months and put the next five months into making sure that that department is something that you put all that time and effort into, into making sure it's the right fucking thing. If you're asking me what I think you should do, take under sheriff. That's what I think you should do. That's my opinion. I'm gonna hang out with the missus, okay? Okay, it sounds good. Okay. Let's uh, go in the the office. Yep. yep. There's a, there's a couple a couple of things that I want to make apparent. Pull Listen to me very carefully, you two, okay? Mm -hmm. You're both cops. You're, you're both good cops correct right yeah there's a couple of things that are very important that i need you guys to know one the public voted the sheriff is bones he is empowered to craft this department however he wants bones is a patrol guy cornwood uh, what would you say your specialty is as a cop i think i'm i think i'm good all around in particular I, I think my leadership my ability to build and build up others okay to me that sounds like the perfect right hand However, you're worried that Cletus's ideas will compromise your vision. Not necessarily that. I just think that it's just going to be like, I think there's going to be a lot of like, it's distrust in any decision. There's going to be, there's always going to be second, like people second guessing things, questioning me on everything. I don't want to deal with that. I, I mean, I don't want a yes man, but I also don't want to deal with just constant questions and like, hey, like me, like having to prove myself to him. Like, uh, it's just not something I want to do. Is there, is there anything that Jeffrey could do to convince you that he deserves this position. I'll do you one better. Is there anything that I can do to convince Bones that I, I'm not trying to undermine him whenever I'm asking him questions about what his procedures are, how he wants to build the department, and all that? Whenever I asked you those questions, you told me specifically, you said you felt like I was undermining you. I gave you my answer, and it and you kept asking similar questions to it because it because wasn't the answer that you wanted to hear. No, it's because I'm asking you to build on it. I'm asking you more specific questions to get you to expand. But you didn't ask me to build on it. You just kept on asking me the same question over and over because it was like you what, didn't agree with What was with the it. question? What was the question? I was asking about everything. Like, well, how do you want to do training, recruiting? It was, it was these kind of questions. Right. If I'm accept accepting a high command position, I, I need to know these things, right? That's not technically correct. What you would be doing as under sheriff is working together with Jeffrey to craft those things, the training exactly. protocols. Well, that, but that's not what he wants. He he wants me to take what he's doing and then back him up is what he said. Let's be clear. You guys had a conversation maybe a day or two ago about this. That was the first conversation. No matter what you guys say, it's pretty clear to pretty much anybody. You guys had some disagreements while you're running for sheriff. Mm -hmm. That first conversation could have been heated. I mean, it wasn't it, though. Well, see, that's the thing. You're saying that it's not, but I'm listening to you guys and it feels like I you guys are bickering with each other. I want you guys to think about what it was like before you guys were in this position. 
when you guys were cops? Did you approve of each other's patrolling? Did you did you have any issues with each other prior to all of this? I disagreed with him on, on a couple of things for sure. I mean, it, was, we, it wasn't like sunshine and rainbows with him. The only time I've ever been upset at Bones was whenever, whenever I got suspended and Bones, uh, like, he didn't really care. That was the only time I'd ever really been upset with Bones. We How was that agree. any of my business, though? It should have been your business because you were shift two senior and you should have been there at that meeting. This is all stuff in the past. Okay. We need to, we need to be thinking about the future. What the purpose of this meeting should be is to get you guys on a working level or to abandon this idea altogether. The actual concern, right? And I think the way that like, I feel so strongly about this is because like I have somebody I want as undershare. I want Cletus to be the captain. Like, I don't, is that even possible? Can, can you make that happen? You, he totally could be a captain in the BCSO. But does our high command have to match the LSPD? I don't think so. Uh, you know what, ice commissioner? No, it doesn't. If I can have that, I would fucking love it. I would fucking love it. Cause I feel fucking terrible for Cassidy and all this. But having Cletus in a captain position, are you, I need you to look me in the fucking face and I need you to tell me that you are able to make decisions as sheriff uh, in an unbiased way and to consider his feedback uh, without being like, no, nope, it's my way or the highway. I need you to be able to collaborate with him. I will. I mean, I'm just going to keep it real, right? How is me being a captain versus me being undersheriff any different? It's really not. It's really not. So why is it so important that Cassidy is the undersheriff? Yeah, you could make him a captain. So I can make Cassidy a captain if sure. I want to. And, and he would yeah. be in high command, yeah? The question goes both ways, though. Like ways. My concern is if we have two high command that don't see eye to eye with me, and then... The, who's saying that Cassidy doesn't see eye to eye with you? No, no, what you I'm saying... You're going to get 2v1 yes i don't think that's gonna happen and if that happens i think you you can bring it up to the to the commissioner so remind me one more time what do, what do you want me to do as undershare what do you want your undersheriff to do stuff that i i legit just don't want to do right it's going to be the the paperwork i guess the some of the office stuff if they're if they need to go through like all the sergeant stuff and there's problems or their stuff needs a second look so what do you want me to do as captain same, literally same thing okay so captain and under sheriff are the same thing pretty much so then why why would i not take under sheriff if it's been if it's been offered to me by the state i don't know why won't you um uh, i mean why not if you want if things don't go well for whatever reason and i'm i'm under sheriff then all of a sudden i'm the scapegoat the blame's gonna get shifted on me he wasn't my pick for under sheriff i mean clearly you know when bones got sheriff you know he wanted cassidy look what happened at the bcso it turned into a whole disaster fair i also think that something that should be considered with a lot of the votes that i got is because i had cassidy as my under sheriff yeah so it's kind of yeah it's kind of like you got 200 and he got 200 votes yeah right and then like <laughs> his 200 means fuck all right. now no oh um, yeah <laughs> like this is the kind of shit you stop going I know. Do what you think is right, but you have until tomorrow at the start of shift two to make your decision. Wait, you want you want a decision by the start of shift two? Middle of shift two. How about that? That quick? You've had four Bro. days! It's two days! Two day look, man. Either you want it or you don't. You know how many times you told me one to two weeks to the point where half the city hated me for shit that didn't happen until we finally got the sheriff's office open. Promising them something that wasn't possible at the time, that was not even logistically possible. And then you went around and I you wanna, told who, did I who did I promise? Who did I promise? I don't get know. Going. I what did I what, what who did I promise what? To? What do you mean? What, you what kept telling weeks? me one to two weeks. Because I didn't know when it was going to fucking happen. Then why didn't man? you just say that instead of one to two weeks for three months? Because you have direct contact with the same people that I do, motherfucker, who told you that this place was functional. I didn't even fucking know that. I can't even open a bank account. I can't even open business accounts. So when you were trying to pile on additional work, it is impossible for me to give you a direct and 100% confident answer about what is is not going to happen. So I decided, fuck it, I'm just going to do it. And we did. And we're here. And you are holding up the process. Oh, my Lord. Now, now you're saying it's on me. It is literally on you right now. Okay, how? You are pussyfooting on this decision. Because of one day? Two days. Well, the solution here is that you, him, Cassidy, whoever else, you guys are going to sit in a room and you're going to figure out how things are going to get done. That's it. I'm down for that. I want my input to be valued. Will be we'll valued, but I'm still going to have the final say on things. Can you accept that? Sure. You will never be trapped. You are free to transition back to the LSPD if you feel like your opinion is not being valued. Okay. No but. No but. No but. No more butts. Hey, there's no guys. Hey, he, you're going to get more butts from me than anybody because I'm your undersheriff. I have experience. I know what the hell I'm talking about. Look, I know you'll get final say whatever. I'm not going to sit here and, and just, just sit around and not give you butts. 
Okay. You guys are starting on a new fucking leaf. You're going to work together. He's going to appoint Cassidy if he wants. You are going to make the perfect police department. If I can get Cassidy's captain, that will be the big three. So that three will run this department. You swear to God? I promise. You swear, I, to, you I, swear to fucking Dale Earnhardt, motherfucker? I, stop pointing that gun. Swear right now. Stop pointing that gun. Just swear, <laughs> motherfucker. Swear. Let me finish what I was saying. Okay, fine. I would much rather the the Cassidy under sheriff lead as captain, but if that is just an ultimate no, it's not then ultimate I will, no. I will... it, it depends on what what Cletus wants to do. You need to pledge to me as well that you will do your best to work with him. I I will. Can you do the same, Cletus? No, absolutely. Don't take what I'm telling you as as me not working with you whenever it doesn't line up. Right. You, you have you're, to understand. Don't have it on every fucking thing that I do. Fuck I'm off not. That. But but it'll be 10, 20 percent probably realistically. Okay. Well, that 10, 20 percent is a and, whole lot of a uh, whole lot of different. Yeah. You ever been to the gym, Bones? Yeah. You got You got to break yourself down. You got to break your muscles down a little bit so you can build them up. That's how you gain that confidence as a leader. Okay. Have you been to the gym, Cletus? Hell, I invented the gym. I'm probably gonna stay LSPD. <laughs> Just kidding.